patent slash copyright laws can protect a creator's slash creator's works from reduplication slash multiplication slash marketing from another person without creators slash creators permission, thus saving the creators slash creators money. In my opinion, patent slash copyright laws are life's difficulties to success and to hope. Trademark laws are included too. One difficulty is denials of permission from the resource slash resources. Sometimes the copyright disclosure can state duplication is strictly prohibited without the prepositional phrase without permission. I call it selfishness. The licensor can have negative experience from a bully to prevent from success and from hope. There is a Newton ball theory for bullying. The bully hurts innocent person A and person A hurts innocent person B, etc. Some licensees have a negative experience of asking for any type of permission because licensor slash licensors voids slash void permission. It can be overly void. Thus feeling negative against licensor slash licensors. Some courtesy does not pay off. What if teachers want to use the copyrighted resources to give students education? And education is one of our duties to grow. I think that people have negative experiences with education. Denials of permission can be a plan to destroy education. The second difficulty is permissions with royalty fees. Pay royalty fees is like gambling for success and for hope in life. Licensors can financially rip off licensees from being successful. In a simile, a talent agent financially rips off clients. Money is another difficulty to success and to hope. Licensors can care about money more than licensees needs because of pride in the economy system. It is a myth that you need money to be successful and to receive hope. You cannot put a price on hope. The third difficulty is no more original ideas. There is an increase of population of people dead or alive. In school there are assignments that require the students own creativity as a graduation requirement and plagiarism is prohibited. The more the people dead or alive in society the less the fresh ideas the more the accusations of plagiarism. This may be a conspiracy to prevent a student from graduation. There is such thing as permanent creators block. I have permanent creators block since fifth grade. I had to come up with my own fictional story as an assignment 
or English class. But I had no copyright free ideas in my mind. So I plagiarized from a children's fictional book. I was found guilty and I have that unhealthy fear of violating intellectual property laws ever since. This is also the same thing in the business world. Part 3 will continue next time.